Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to Inside the Hem. This is my makes video and it's going to be a long one because I made 10 things this month. I, I, like what? What? Like I can't even, I just sat down to count them all up and yeah, I made 10 things. Crazy, crazy. But I will say four of them were works in progress, which as you know, has been a huge goal of mine to get through my works in progress. So thrilled to say that I got one done a week, which was my goal. Um, and yeah, let me just jump right in because I've got so much to talk about. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do the works in progress first. I guess we should talk about what I'm wearing. This is the Liberty dress. This is Liberty lawn, maybe. I don't know because I started it so long ago. Um, I don't even know what pattern it is. I can't tell you anything about it other than it's really cute and a little bit short. Um, I don't know why I cut it that short, if that's just how the pattern is. No idea because I didn't even have the pattern pieces. I just had the outer shell cut and then the lining was still in pieces. So thankfully I know how to assemble a dress. Um, so I just did the lining in like attach the lining to the bodice to the outer inserted a zipper and hemmed it and that was finishing this dress but I can't tell you anything about it so I'm probably not even going to do like a project video on this even though it's Liberty and it's gorgeous and I love it um I probably won't because I don't even know how to tell you how to make this yourself I mean it is a princess bodice with a waist and it's not maybe a quarter circle skirt or just an a-line um don't really know so sorry i'm being like so vague on this one but that's what happens when you leave something in your work in progress bin for way 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 too long um next is this is what i think this is a seam work pattern maybe astoria the knit is gorgeous i wish i knew where i got this from um but i had said in my last video my plans video from october that i wasn't even sure what was what needed to be done someone suggested that they thought that the hems weren't done and she was right even though i told her that they were they weren't um so i just had to do a quick little hem there and then hem the little ties so this was like literally a five minute project so that took no time at all but it's really cute um I don't know I think pink well this year for sure pink is like a, a super hot color for fall but I think I just love pink in the fall I think it's so great especially these like more muted ones I don't know it's really cute this is made like crap if I'm being perfectly honest I mean I've got white top stitching thread I've got threads hang I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know what happened but it smells like laundry because it hung in my laundry room for so long. So there's that one. That was really quick and easy. Then, okay, so I had these Carolyn pajamas cut. Well, I had the top cut and I had the piping made, but none of it was assembled. And I didn't have the shorts cut at all. Um, but I finished them and you guys, I love them. I love my Carolyn pajamas so much. Um, I just had such a great time making them. It is one of those detailed makes, um, but so, so, so worth it. I mean, I just love having a nice pair of pajamas. Fun fact, one night when I was wearing these pajamas, the fire alarm went off and we all had to evacuate at three in the morning. And of course, everyone is downstairs in the middle of the night with their like yoga pants and t-shirts on. And here I come strutting down with my cute Carolyn pajamas. And I just felt like, Listen, I look good at all times. That's how I felt. Like, I woke up like this, you know? That's what it made me feel like, and I felt like such a badass. Like, I could tell, even everyone, even though everyone was, like, half asleep, I could tell they were like, she has really cute pajamas on. So, that was really fun. I loved that. Um, and then this is another work in progress. So, the Carolyn pajamas did take a day and a half to finish, even though I'd already kind of sort of started. Um, this one is the cold shoulder sweatshirt that I was telling you guys about. Actually, that's the back. Um, yeah. Um, and all I needed to do was kind of finish up this little part. And I realized as I got started on it, why I hadn't finished it because the way in my mind that I was constructing this collar band is not, 
is not working out right. I did finish it because I thought I could wear it and put my hair down and no one would see, but yeah, it's not the best. So I don't know if I'm going to end up cutting this off and rethinking it. I actually ended up seeing, I went out to do some shoe shopping or something and I did end up seeing a bunch of cold shoulder sweatshirts. So I don't feel like it's that weird of a concept anymore. Um, so yeah, I want to try and make this work, but for now it's just wear your hair down and cover up the mistakes, but I needed to get it done and I got it done. So that's that. Okay. Next up we have this cute little jacket. Um, and all I had left to do on this was to finish, like to attach the, um, the little facing to the arm side and then serge the arm side. So that took like five minutes too. So, I mean, the work in progress thing is just like getting it done, um, is sometimes a five minute project, sometimes, you know, a day long project, like with the pajamas. But I mean... I, that's four things that I got done in a matter of a few days, if you want to look at it that way. Um, so yeah, and this, I couldn't have finished this any sooner because it's perfect for fall. I need a lightweight coat here. Um, so yeah, wearing this with like a plain black t-shirt and black pants and it's like super polished and pulled together and I love it. So yeah, so those are my works in progress projects that I finished in October. From here on out are all new projects that I just started and finished in um, October. I should say though that there are three, <laughs> three sweaters that I started and all three of them just need hems. So hopefully I'll be able to get to those today. Um, but one, two of them need arm and bodice hems and one only needs a bodice hem. So um, there would have been 13. But, um, but I didn't finish the hemming. So those are technically works in progress, but I will get them done because I love them. And now's the time to wear them. Okay, so all new stuff. So here is the ballet dress. The ballet dress is an all time favorite. It is something that I just loved making, loved wearing. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that Amber and I went to the ballet um, last week and we got some compliments on our dresses, which is always fun. Amber wasn't going to tell them that we made them, but I never miss an opportunity to tell someone whenever I've made something I'm wearing. And so it was like three women, maybe in their early 40s, and they were like, by the way, we just love your dresses. They're both so cute. And I was like, we were both like, thanks. And I was like, we made them. And then of course, like everyone stops, you know, oh my gosh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. So it was like, that whole thing was like, so of course it drew even more attention. It was a really interesting moment at the ballet, but, and I found the most adorable shoes to go with it. Um, so yeah, it was just a really great night and a really great little outfit. So I will be wearing this again, no doubt. Um, Amber wasn't feeling well, so she ended up leaving like two thirds of the way through. Um, and she's like, when she left, she was like, let's, um, schedule like a fancy dinner where we can wear our dresses and, um, and you know, she's not feeling so sick. So, um, so yeah, we'll do that. I'll probably wear it if I go to a holiday party. Um, I don't really do new years. It's just a little too wild for me. But, um, if I do something with my boyfriend for new years or for, Valentine's Day or just a really nice date. I mean, I think that I will wear this a lot. Um, it will fit many, many occasions. It's not just, um, like it doesn't fit just one thing. So super excited about this dress. I love it so much. Love it. Love it. Um, next up are a couple of, oh, this one got makeup on it. That's what I get for wearing it before doing this. Um, this is a couple of, what the heck? Okay, um, asymmetrical hem sweaters. I didn't really do this on purpose, but I don't know. I guess I was feeling the asymmetrical hem. Um, this one is the one with the pocket. So cute. I love that. Although I had to shorten it by like a lot, like maybe four inches or more. So the detail of the pocket being like top stitched, on the outer outside of the fabric kind of got lost 
because the hem of the pocket is now the same length as the hem of the top. So I just don't, and I, because it has like this big circle seam here, I don't know how to shorten it. There are no length and shorten lines on the pattern anywhere on the pattern pieces. So I'm kind of just like, well, maybe this is just how it will be. But um, the fabric is super cute. I got it from Fabric Mart. Um, it was one of their Julie's picks, actually. And I picked this up um, when those went on sale. I want to say it was the September or October mailing. Um, it's just a really cute, like, double knit that has, like, this embroidered-ish looking detail on it with like roses or whatever. But yeah, I've worn it to the office and got tons of compliments from men, from women, all ages. So I think it's just a very versatile, cute little top. And the pockets, of course, of course. Um, the next one is much simpler, much easier to come together. Again though, I had to shorten this one by a bunch too. So I need to check the, um, start checking the back neck to bottom hem measurements on the patterns I think um either I'm getting shorter or they're getting longer one or the other I'm not sure but um this is a gorgeous French terry from style maker maybe last year I love the strawberry color it's very soft it probably has rayon in it very comfy um the pattern comes with a really cute um what is it infinity scarf but their directions on sewing that infinity scarf are awful. I would never sew an infinity scarf that way. So I have the better way. I just have to do it. Um, I even have some fabric picked out that would be really cute with this. It's an eensy bincy, eensy weensy bit tight around the bust. So when I make it again, I just need to add like maybe an inch across and it'll give that nice flow from top to bottom but still really cute and I've loved wearing it so there's that one um this was kind of a impulse make um fabric again came from Julie's picks this one might have been in the October mailer um but I don't know the the fabric to me was saying um that it needed to, like it was drapey and so the pattern needed to be drapey, but then once I made it, I don't know, I'm feeling a little frump in it. But it's still really cute, um, and I still really love the fabric. I don't know. I'll probably do like a project video on this and you guys can give me your most full opinion. It is very comfortable, even though it has the one inch elastic um, and a drapey top. I changed, like this was supposed to be like a full, like, dropped shoulder and I took it in so much like inches and inches that it doesn't even resemble the pattern anymore but again I don't know just trying to make it work for me so yeah so another knit dress then I made this knit dress this fabric I'm not sure where I got this fabric maybe fabric mart I don't feel like it was a Julie's pick, but maybe it was. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but this pattern, I have it all bunched up so it won't stretch out. But the um, top is like asymmetrical. Can you see that? So it feels a little bit ice skatery, teensy weensy bit ice skatery. But I just love the geometric print. I didn't want to break it up too much. So. It's just got that great fit and flare drafted really well. I gotta say they did a great job um, drafting this pattern. Fits like a glove. Um, it just really makes the knit work, do all the work, you know? It doesn't feel fussy on, but it looks great. Um, and the way the pattern is cut um, just shapes the body really well. It's just very flattering, very flattering. Really cute, long sleeve, wear it with tights and booties. It'll be a great little fall, great little fall piece. Um, let's see, finally, we have this cardigan. The fabric came from Joanne last year. Um, it's great fabric. I love how soft it is. Um, and it's just got a really huge window pane on it. I'll definitely do a project featuring, a project video featuring this and how I style it. 
Um, but these like long duster cardigans are super popular this year and I can see why they're very comfortable, very cozy, and you just look so chic and pulled together. So that is this project. So there you have it. There are all of my makes for October. I am like winded and out of breath talking about them all, but I've worn them all um, a lot, uh, a couple times already. So it feels great to have like a whole new wardrobe um, for fall. So it, it frees up a lot of um, creativity for November. You know, I'm not sewing out of necessity. I'm just sewing the things that I want to sew. So we'll see how that shapes up. But um, I really appreciate all you guys watching. If you aren't already subscribed please click the subscribe button um if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and until next time i guess i'll see you all very soon thanks bye